Well, hello, everybody. It is Rod, your Futures Fanatic. Welcome back to Futures Fanatic, part of TDG, the Traders Dev Group. We provide education software and strategies for active intraday futures traders as well as self-directed investors. And now we're going to be expanding this Futures Fanatic channel in 2021 into other asset classes as well. Tonight's video, I am going to talk about the best platforms for trading futures depending on your experience level and we're going to get into that right after this what is it cya right these cya messages okay cool all right so we're going to be talking about the best this is a question i get asked a lot I've covered it somewhat on other parts of the channel. And of course, if you Google around, you're going to find many people. We all have opinions just like we have blank, right? But uh, I have been to flex for a moment. I've been trading futures for over 25 years. I think I know the lay of the land pretty well. So hopefully I can help you out depending again on your experience level where, where you might want to start in terms of futures platforms. Now, All right, well, not much of a surprise. I'm interrupting my own YouTube video to let you know that I rambled on for almost 19 minutes. Well, I hope you watched the entire video and it's very useful. Let me give you the top three futures platforms that I use and recommend uh, so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't like. Number one is going to be Tradeavate, tradeavate.com. Tradeavate has its own platform. This is the platform, okay? Really like this platform. Web based, it's very low cost to uh, to open a brokerage account just for the purpose of getting access to the demo, and it's got mobile, so really great. Tradeavate.com. Next is Sierra Chart, crappy looking website, pretty good platform. Windows based only, so that's a little bit of a drawback, but it works very nicely in combination with um, AMP. Okay, so here's Sierra Chart with AMP, and then finally, as you move up the food chain a little bit, for many folks, I think ultimately you're going to arrive at Ninja Trader. Ninja Trader again, you can get access to it for a $400 deposit. You pay a little bit for data, and then you can get access to most of the platform. If you want some of the advanced features, there is a paid version of the platform as well. All right, that's it. So, Trade of Eight, Sarah Chart, and Ninja Trader. If you have some other suggestions, you can watch this video where very often I ask for some comments and I go into these three in a lot more detail. But there is a less than one minute while this entire video is 19 minutes. Let's proceed with the YouTube video later. Before I get going, I want to remind everybody that a platform is not always synonymous or the same as a broker, okay? In the stock market, almost everything, the platform is the broker a lot of time. Robinhood, you use their mobile or web app, and they're the broker, and they're the charting and uh, order execution platform that you get. TradeStation, same thing, broker and platform. Uh, Schwab, broker and platform. TD Ameritrade, Toss or Think and Swim or their platform, right? Um, Tastyworks, platform and the broker, all the same, all right? And that is normally the case in, in futures. I will mention a couple platforms that are the same as the broker and then a few combinations that are a little bit different. Where do you wanna start? Now, regardless of where you're going to end up in terms of beginning, uh, futures trading and by the way if you are more experienced futures trader you've traded futures for a little bit or you're just getting started and you've already picked something that you kind of like leave a note in the comments down i might miss something there are plenty of other combinations of platforms and brokers in the futures markets that you could choose some for it so if i don't cover your favorite and you feel like you want to express yourself do so down in the comments while you're going down there to type something it'd be awesome if you also hit that like button helps out the youtube algorithm it also helps me grow this channel to what i hope will dominate as one of the best futures education channels on youtube because gosh knows there is heck of a lot of focus on other asset classes not that there's anything wrong with those asset classes but for active interday trading especially if you're looking to understand how to chart give yourself 24 hours a day to look at markets as well as have no pattern day trader requirement uh, the futures markets is where it's at all right so here's where you want to start you want to come over to trading view i talk about this in a lot of my videos let me just move this down a little bit so you can see the address bar there it is trading view so you want to go to tradingview.com and sign up for a free account ultimately uh, you're going to probably want to upgrade to one of the paid accounts so that you can actually chart and do a bunch of other things. But just make sure if you're not using TradingView that you absolutely, absolutely have a TradingView account. Okay, and here's why. Because today we're going to talk about futures platforms, the best platform to trade futures. But here's what you got going on in TradingView. You can look at indices, currencies, futures, crypto, bonds. You can even do like mini Bloomberg-y type of things like chart an actual interest rate or something like that. All right. It is very difficult on other platforms, even big popular platforms like thinkorswim gosh knows try to bring up a bond quote or uh, on something like Robinhood right so over here 
in terms of data and access to a lot of different uh, trading products and instruments, you can't beat TradingView, all right? Now, TradingView is not gonna be in my top three best platforms to trade futures on, but I'll put a link to a lot of videos that I've done on how to use TradingView to actually paper trade futures and then ultimately live trade futures at a couple different brokerages if you'd like. So the first place you start is you start over on trading view. Okay. Even if you don't end up trading futures at all and don't get interested in futures trading or futures trading platforms, you're going to want to have a trading view account. So start there. All right. I'll also point a link below to where you can um, follow TDG on TradingView, which is our primary channel on TradingView if you want, absolutely free. Um, or you can even follow me, Rod Castillo, if you want. I don't do much with, uh, with this over here. All right, so we're starting on TradingView. And again, even if you uh, don't end up being a futures trader, you're gonna want to uh, use TradingView. In fact, real quickly, just to give you a sense of the various brokers that, uh, by the way, here's some paper trading that's going on right here in, uh, in TradingView. And what I wanna do is get over to the uh, I'm going to see the brokers list right here. Go up like that. And you can see Trade of Eight, which I'll mention in just a moment, Iron Beam, Amp, Trade Station. These are all places that you could trade futures and connect your Trading View account uh, for charting and analysis, as well as some limited order execution over to a uh, uh, one of these brokers. But let's start with my favorite place for newer traders. Uh, to begin their trading journey is uh, using a company called Tradovate. All right. Really quickly, I get asked a lot about my criteria. And by the way, if you've come up with something that you think is a little better than what I go through here for beginners all the way through various levels of experience, leave a comment below while you also hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you can be notified of the next time that we broadcast here at Futures Fanatic. Okay. So what is Tradovate? Tradovate is a broker and a platform. They have their own platform. It looks like this. All right. On other trading videos, I'll try to do some links. There'll be a lot of links going on in this video if you check the description below. A lot more goodness that you can reference other videos here on the channel and find out more information about what I'm mentioning here. So this is Tradeovate and they have their own platform. So one of the three reasons that I think Tradeovate is a great place to start if you're brand new is first and foremost, they have a very, very small minimum deposit. It's only $250. Now, if you are not traded futures before or traded anything, you really shouldn't be trading live capital at all. So what does that $250 get you and why is it a good place to start? Well, for $250, you can make a deposit into the Tradeovate account and get access to data, which will cost you another $12 to $15 per month and a really great demo platform that you can use for as long as you'd like to practice before you're ready to go live, okay? In the futures world, there is not a lot of demo environments that are completely free for a long time. I did a few videos also here on the channel about how you can get access to free futures data, but the data is not, in futures world, it's not just like turning on Robinhood and bringing up a quote of Apple. It doesn't quite work like that. And most firms are not going to allow you to stay on demo for a very, very long time for a small amount of money. Okay. So Tradeovate is a great place to start because you can make a small investment, $250. Again, you're not going to be trading that. You're going to use it for data and you're going to use it to get access to a demo trading platform here. All right. This demo trading platform. In this case, the broker Tradeovate is also the platform. So you end up getting very familiar with their platform. And if you like what you see and you're ready to move forward when you are ready to move forward, you have a platform that you can start trading live with and there's no uh, sort of difference in experience, okay? Their demo works almost exactly as, as well as live. It includes all of the margins, meaning you can't go crazy and buy a whole lot more than you would when you go live. And I believe that the maximum demo size that you can even set is $50,000. So you don't have these bad habits of, um, you can even see here, I have a, um, I have a demo account with a little less than $50,000 in it. It's actually through a third-party prop pro program, which I talk about a lot here on the channel as well. All right, so my number one place to start is Tradeovate. The first reason is because you can make a small deposit and you can, um, uh, you can uh, connect and have a demo account. The second reason is because it's their platform and they've done a great job of just, it, you turn it on and it works, okay? Without getting into some of the details about symbology and looking up symbols for futures, most people are pretty familiar with the symbols. In other words, AAPL for Apple, MSFT for Microsoft, or you can just do a quick Google search and look up the symbol. Symbology for futures can be a little confusing. The data can be a little confusing. Again, hit the subscribe, turn on the bell notification to be notified of plenty of times where I do my best to educate everybody along the spectrum of your knowledge 
around how to make this sort of second nature over time. As soon as you kind of get it, it's not that difficult. You'd be able to find the right symbol on any platform. But Trade of 8 makes it really nice, really easy to sign up, get your data, get a web that works on any um, browser, by the way. So it's browser based, which is great. And it has a great mobile application as well. Okay, I'll show it over here in just a little bit. You have a great mobile application that you can use as well. So for all those reasons, you got good stuff going on here with Trade of 8. Great place to start. Okay, moving up the spectrum a little bit, the next would be Ninja Trader. Okay, so Ninja Trader, draw down, draw uh, the draw down. <laughs> the drawback of Ninja Trader, there are a couple, so I'll give you some pros and cons here. The pros are that for most retail traders, this is going to be the best, most sophisticated, fastest order execution and uh, charting package available for retail. There are others, I get it. Again, if you're more, if you're happy with others like Sierra Chart or, or TradeStation or um, TT, which I'll talk about all those in just a little bit, um, leave a comment down below if you think there's a better combination. But for the vast majority of what I would call retail, even much more experienced, Ninja Trader is going to get you done. So those are the pros. It is, um, it's very, very uh, quick. It's got really nice charting and um, it has a huge ecosystem of developers and cool add-ons and things as you develop as a trader you can add more much more sophisticated ways of viewing uh, visual data and those are all great benefits drawbacks it is windows based only yes you could run it in parallels on a mac if you want but it's basically windows based and it will probably never have a mobile app so if you are trading live with ninja trader or at all with ninja trader you are not going to be online on starbucks and be able to go in and do a trade all right hence the reason that i think that Ultimately, the reason I'm mentioning these uh, these platforms and brokers is because I have accounts and use all these products, and I like the combination of everything. So I have a, I have a Trade of Eight account, so I can easily access things on a browser when I'm traveling and things like that. If I don't happen to have the desktop version of Ninja downloaded on my machine, okay. So Ninja Trader is what we predominantly use in my trade room, and most of the traders in the trade room have gravitated over to Ninja Trader. Another drawback of Ninja Trader is ultimately um, it's free to use for as long as you'd like, as long as you have a data program. By the way, if I scroll down here, you can see Trade of 8 is $250. This is only $400. With $400, you could get a data plan and you could trade on demo for as long as you want. You never have to purchase the software. However, when you're ready to trade live, if you wanted to trade at Ninja Trader, you'd be using Ninja Trader brokerage and you would be paying um, upwards of $1,000 to $1,500 for the platform. Okay. It's a one-time fee. It includes all upgrades for life. I've been using Ninja Trader for over a decade, and while I've never paid more than the original licenses that I bought, okay, but there is a fee. Um, almost everybody that I work with and every trader I've ever introduced to Ninja Trader that made the investment felt that it was a very, very worthwhile investment. But many people, of course, will balk at a thousand or fifteen dollar um, initial uh, cost to use the software because many other options are going to be free. Okay, Trade of 8, their platform is free, it's included, there's no additional charges. Ninja Trader, when you're ready to trade live, you are going to pay for that. All right, you're going to pay for, for the ability to, um, to use Ninja Trader. Ninja Trader, like Trade of 8, Trade of 8, Trade of 8 platform, same company. Ninja, Ninja Trader brokerage, same company. Ninja also has some connections. The one that's most important to me is that they have a really nice connection for trading futures over to Interactive Brokers, okay? Interactive Brokers platform called TWS or Trader Workstation sucks. It's terrible um, on so many fronts. <laughs> I can't believe how bad it is relative to how good um, IB is in a lot of other uh, aspects, okay, which I won't get into today. But for futures trading, if you're going to actually use charting or a dome or order execution, I would recommend that at IB, you would have Ninja Trader as your front end for that. Okay, so Ninja Trader provides you that benefit. All right, so then the final one uh, combination I'll give you is look at how crappy this website looks. It's called Sierra Chart, but a lot of people like Sierra Chart. It is also Windows. So a thick client based kind of application. So keep that in mind. There's no mobile aspect to it. So keep that in mind. But when you combine Sierra chart and Sierra is not, it's an independent software company. Okay. It's one of these uh, few remaining sort of platforms that work with a, a variety of different brokers and connections. This is not a video where I'll go into uh, the, how the connections kind of work because there are 
essentially two major data gateways and features, one called Rhythmic, one called CQG. And depending on which of those connections you're using to connect to your broker, it will affect uh, which platforms you can kind of use. But a nice combination that a lot, a lot of people like and that I would recommend as well, especially if you're newer and you're price sensitive, would be using AMP, okay, AMP Futures, and Sierra chart right here. If you go over to ampfutures.com, you can see all of the variety of platforms they, they provide. And then look right here, free demo using TradingView. As I mentioned before, TradingView is gonna come up a lot um, because not only are they starting to make forays into being able to trade uh, futures products, which is fantastic, but they absolutely crush it when it comes to charting things like stocks, crypto, Forex, and of course the futures markets as well. So the charting and analysis over on TradingView where we started the video is outstanding all right so um, the advantages of an amp and sierra chart combination is sierra charts going to give you a lot of if not all the same functionality as ninja i don't think visually it looks quite as good it's a little more clunky um, people that trade tpo volume profile market profile really like it okay i think ninja's done a better job on their newer release but i still do have an amp account i still do have sierra i don't fire it up all that often but if you are looking for a very low cost broker eventually that's full service and self-clearing, that is AMP. They're fantastic when it comes to that. And of all of the platforms they offer, I would suggest that Sierra for beginners is the best. They also support TT, which is called trading technology. If once you become a more experienced trader, there are a lot of purists that are gonna say, it's all about trading technologies and jigsaw, but all of this is available uh, if you are with AMP Brokerage. All right, so let's go through it again. I think the place to start for almost everybody is to come over here and get a TradingView account. Get familiar with TradingView because you can easily look at a bond price, you can look at a crypto price, you can look at a futures price if you connect data, you can look at currencies such as Forex, and you can bring up any stock, all right? Really quickly on the, pro, on the way the plans work, if you come over here, I've been a... Uh, a plan owner for I don't know back from 2014 or something like this and I'm on some sort of grandfathered thing where I'm paying about hundred eighty dollars a year for this I believe that this same plan is around fifteen to twenty dollars a month again it is a fantastic investment if you're going to get serious about learning to hone your trading skills and now if you're going to uh, also be trading futures it's a front-end platform that I think you want to have Next place to start is Tradeavate, $250, gets you a platform, gets you data, gets you a demo that you can uh, practice on, gets you a mobile app that you can actually trade through as well. Fantastic place to start, Tradeavate. Next up the chain would be, in my opinion, uh, Ninja Trader. Uh, again, I'll have links below. Uh, it's important to point out, um, I have slight affiliate relationships with all of these but they're affiliate name only, meaning I do not get paid at all depending on any of these links or anything that you click on, nor do I want. I don't want any kind of conflict of interest. I'm really here to just help as many folks as possible. Full disclosure, yes, I do have some uh, hybrid indicators and some courses and a trade room and other things that work on these platforms, um, but I provide the workspaces and I provide everything around the platforms absolutely for free and there's no VIG or payback or anything to me from any of these companies. So please do your own research, choose the one that you think would work best for you. And again, leave a comment below if you think I've missed something like, yes, TradeStation, absolutely. Tasty trade, Tasty Works. You can trade futures there too. Their charting right now is pretty crappy. They're going to be improving it. I already mentioned TT, and then there are plenty of other uh, platforms like Motive Wave and um, uh, Quant Tower, and a lot of R Trader and CQG Trader. Plenty of other platforms that you can potentially choose from, but I think this combination is going to get most people done. All right, Ninja is the next one up there. Ninja Brokerage, $400 deposit. You're going to get access to your data. If and when you want to trade live through Ninja Trader, you will have to make a decision to upgrade. They do have some leasing programs where you could pay like, I think it's $150 or $200 per quarter, or maybe a little bit more. I would not suggest doing that. It's better just to uh, make the investment. It's well worth it. And then finally, another combination, if you're a little bit more cost sensitive, is something like Sierra Chart, which as you can see is free, no platform fees, and you have um, uh, Sierra Chart over here. Uh, you would sign up with AMP. Um, I think you are going to have to have a small deposit with them as well. And you just want to check if you're really, really fee sensitive, make sure you're aware of platform fees, brokerage fees, commissions, all those kinds of things, because there are a few different moving parts. The stock world has seem seemingly gone to everything is free, free, free. Of course, we all know there's no such thing absolutely as free, but there are definitely still uh, more fees and charges involved in the futures markets in terms of commissions and other fees that are associated with transaction costs. And then while a 
I'm not saying this is the case because I don't know. It'll say something like uh, no platform fees, but they may charge a small, seemingly innocuous, like 10 or 15 cents per contract to trade through that particular platform. Now that can really, really, really add up. So you wanna make sure that you are aware of that. I can tell you that on Trade of Eight and Ninja Trader, there are absolutely no trading fees associated with trading through those platforms other than the standard commission and other fees that are applied to trading a futures contract. Woo! I'm gonna check my time. What is my time? Holy crap, this video went 18 minutes long. There's no way anyone got all the way to the end of this. If you did, that is fantastic. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I've given you some good information to uh, to take a look at in terms of futures platforms. Uh, we'll do another video where we talk a little bit more of the brokers. We'll leave it there for tonight. Again, my name is Rod with Futures Fanatic, part of TDG, the Traders Dev Group, reminding you to stay green and trade like you mean it. Thanks.